finally figured out why this show is popular. It's The Five if every panelist has dementia. That's Greg Gutfeld and The Five roasting Sonny Hostin and The View. You know they must have said something stupid because even Jessica Tarloff is making fun of them. Welcome to Nerk News, I'm Nerkish, and it seems like we can't go a week without Sunny Hostin making a fool out of herself. Which at this point is really less of an indictment on her, and more so whoever gave her that law degree. Because it seems like whenever she's not race baiting or trying to upstage her guest, she's saying some of the dumbest things imaginable. I know, right? I mean, I have to say, um, Karen Dupiche, our, our wonderful, oh one my of our wonderful makeup artist, when the earthquake was happening, she put her coat on, and she was like, Jesus is coming. I'm so out. I'm, I'm out. I'm leaving. We've got a solar eclipse. Uh, we've she got the earthquake. The hallway. She ran down the hallway. <laughs> the rapture is here. The rapture's here. And then also I learned that the cicadas are coming. Cicadas. Cicadas. Although I love for the, the first time in cicada, like cicada. No, no, 100 no, years. No, no. For the first time <clears throat> in, in many, many years. No. And seven, so, every 17 years this happens. Well, that's not what I read, but maybe, <laughs> but, you know, maybe well, you know better. All those things together would maybe lead one to believe that, you know, either climate change exists that's more or something point. is really or going on. returning. Earthquakes are not at the mercy of climate change. It's underground. No. It can't. I don't it, think it, that's it happens, it. and, the, and the, the eclipse. They've known about the eclipse coming because eclipses happen, and they actually can say when these things are going to happen. You know what's really shocking is that they still have the nerve to call people on the right fear-mongering conspiracy theorists after saying stuff like this. Now everyone has been having a field day with this. Sky News has been making fun of her, Tim Pool mocked her, so did Michael Knowles, even far-left shows like The Young Turks are making fun of her. It might be one of the only things the left and right can agree on. And now it's the five's turn. Here they are taking shots at the mere, mere version of themselves. Oh, Dana. I don't know, it's just like, Mike, like, why, why should, why it's so, so stupid? I, just, I, I don't know, like, when uh, Whoopi and Behar shoot it down, you know yeah. she's gone full loony. <laughs> I was, Greg, I was trying to think back, and granted, I consume most of this through clips, but I hadn't seen that before, where there was actual push. But, you know, usually it's just yeah. like, ah, moving yeah. on, that was a little dumb, yeah. whatever. She's got sun in her name, for God's sake. She's having a bad year, by the way. A month ago, she found out that her ancestors were slaveholders. Slave yep. Now yep. she finds out that cicadas have been around since forever. She needs to read more. I don't think... Sonny really believes that. Sonny is playing Sonny. Mm. Let me explain what I mean by that. Sometimes I play myself on TV. <laughs> oh, really? That Sometimes I will say things like, because I think Jesse Waters, a Fox News host, would say that. That's something Jesse would say. So sometimes I say things. So you're a caricature of Sometimes yourself. I play myself on TV. That That's so what true. Sonny is doing just to mix things up on the show. You know, to be frank, I'm just surprised Sonny didn't try to blame this on racism or something idiotic like that. Speaking of which... This and her ancestry should be enough to shut her up forever, right? Like the next time she tries to bully or belittle a guest for not being a Democrat, they can just point out that she didn't know what cicadas were, thought global warming caused earthquakes, and her family doesn't have the greatest track record on race. I mean, she's really like the grift that keeps on giving. There's so much meat left on this that Greg actually took a whole other segment on his show to properly mock her with the panel, including Rob Schneider. Their brains are small, but who's the dumbest one of all? True, none of them are in Mensa, but who's the most densa? <laughs> Perhaps it's Sonny who mastered the art of making idiots look smart. <laughs> but it's no surprise that Joy is the one who understands science. She's been on the science diet for years. So that makes Sonny Hostin, who thinks climate change caused the solar eclipse, the dumbest of them all. Do you know how many Emmys this show has? <laughs> 31. 31 Emmys? This show has 31. I mean, I'd hate to see the conversations that don't make headlines. <laughs> <laughs> what? What is the show prep? They just go, go! <laughs> <laughs> is that the pre-show? Like, what was that? I didn't realize until Cast started talking that that all happened on the air. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was just like a behind-the-scenes disaster. A blooper. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. Uh, I'm going to say the dumbest people who still watch the show. Yes. <laughs> now it's all fun and games making fun of The View, but Jesse Waters actually brought up a good point. Is this all planned stupidity to drum up hate watching? Possibly, but this expression on Whoopi Goldberg's face would suggest otherwise. Now my theory, and, and stay with me here, is that Sonny Hostin is a gullible idiot who basically admitted that she's lying anytime she says she read something. But let me know what you think. Is Sonny Hostin pretending to be stupid? Let me know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. That stuff really does help us out. Until then, this has been Nerk News. Thanks for watching. Bye!